So you've started to pay attention to what you're feeling in the palms of your hands, on your fingertips. It's so incredibly interesting as we're only in week two. Let's not get really mental about it. Let's not talk too much about what that is. Let's not think too much about what that is. It can be distracting. What's more important initially is to get really established in the Sahaja technique. And that means getting really established in not thinking. Once you get that foundation state strong and settled, you're not easily triggered, taps on the shoulder are not going to distract you, then we can start paying more attention to what's happening in the palms of the hands and above the top of the head. But initially just observe what it is, feel what it is, take note of what it is, wonder about it. We'll talk about it. But when you're meditating, don't think about it. Just enjoy it. So let's keep going. I'm going to talk about foot soaking before we end today. Reminder, how to meditate at home 10 or 15 minutes twice a day on your own or with others. If you've got others to meditate with, even better. Try to get into that state of thoughtless awareness. Focus on the present moment. Look for the space between the thoughts. Pay attention to those sensations. Join weekly live or archived meditations, whatever works for you. And try to pick times that are not too stimulating, maybe before everybody else gets up, before too much activity is happening in the morning and in the evening, you know, before you have no energy left, before you're absolutely crashed and your meditation is basically just sitting and sleeping. So for the foot soaking technique, and this is going to be part of your homework for this week, I would encourage you to incorporate this into your evening meditations. Very simple technique. You're going to want a bucket, and this bucket is going to be used only for foot soaking from this point forward. It's a place that's going to be taking out your toxins within you. And fill it with water, again, cooler water if you want to cool down your right side, warmer water if you want to stimulate your left side, any water if you don't want to worry about what you're doing. Any water is fine. A nice handful of any kind of salt. Any salt is completely fine. You're going to place your feet inside. You want to have a cup of fresh water nearby because all you have to do in your meditation when you're foot soaking is sit with your hands open, do your meditation as you always will. The only difference is that your feet are in a bucket of salted water. Very simple. Keeping your attention above your top, the top of your head, doing whatever you're going to do to try to get into a state of meditation. But in this, this time while your feet are in that salted water, those toxins are going to be removed from your system, specifically your lower energy centers from your third, second, and first energy center. They really get cleared out through this foot soak, soaking technique. When you're done with your meditation, with your foot soak, you've got your cup of fresh water, rinse off your feet, have a towel nearby. You're gonna dump your salted, toxic water that's really cleansed out your system into your toilet, give it a rinse, keep that bucket aside only for, for your foot soaking every evening. And if you can do that every evening in your meditation, set it up in the morning so that you remember at the end of the day, oh, that's right, I'm going to foot soak today. Make yourself do it. Test out this hypothesis and see if it helps you sleep better. Really get into that state of thoughtless awareness, feel that change that's starting to happen within you. When you're foot soaking, you can use those balancing techniques, balancing the left side or balancing the right side. As you feel instinctively, any affirmations, any techniques that we've done in class that seem to help you, do them as you feel, but don't let it get into a very mental or physical activity. It's very easy to just do nothing and you can absolutely do that in the Sahaj technique, do nothing, but get into the state of thoughtless awareness. If you can maintain it, and you want to add on some simple techniques, do it, fantastic. But if doing those techniques are getting you mental or making you feel like this is an exercise and you're not able to get into the state of thoughtless awareness, abandon ship, go right back to that very simple technique of just hands open, attention above the top of the head, that's all you need to do. Try to get into the state of thoughtless awareness. Next week, we're going to talk about the first energy centers first and second energy centers. And if you haven't registered and you'd like to do so, so you can be notified up of upcoming classes, please do so on our website at Meditate Upstate. Give us an email if you have any questions. Check out Sahaja online for more archived meditations or our YouTube channel at Meditate Upstate for more 
archive meditation so you can have one at your fingertips at any moment that you just need a little guidance. Thank you so much for joining. And I look forward to meditating with you again very soon. Take care.